Happy autumn from the Hudson Valley and welcome to the Beacon Pumpkin Festival. We're starting at the Metro North train station as that is the easiest way to get here. Brings you right alongside of the Hudson River. The train ride is absolutely scenic and beautiful and brings you right to Beacon and you'll see here Pete and Toshi Seeger Riverfront Park. The world would never amount to a hill of beans if people didn't use it. They're imagined to think of is impossible. And now think autumn in the Hudson Valley. This only happens for one day, and this is a special event. And I gotta tell you, I saw something here that I've never seen anywhere. And I've been to a lot of pumpkin festivals. We'll get into that, but there's something uh, very unique about this one. Now, do pumpkins grow alongside of the Hudson River? No, but they've got some here because it's the autumn season, and we will see that. Let's do our official welcome to Pete and Toshi Seeger Riverfront Park. There is no admission for this festival. We're looking at 3.30 in the afternoon on October 16th. That would be the fifth week of autumn colors in the Empire State. So the midway point. Some years it's 11 weeks of color. Some years it's 10. And we are introduced with art. Oh, the Beacon Sloop Club. They are the producers of this wonderful pumpkin festival. See some fine dressed people wearing their pumpkin hats. Let's give it up for the Neverly Brothers. Free concerts alongside of the now, Hudson River. Next up we have uh, Bindle Stick Bill. Dogs are welcome. Ah, happy to see this couple again. Because people dress very nicely when they come to the pumpkin festival. I saw them earlier. They're not a prop, I swear. There are some people, I want to show you the Hudson River. We've got a woman in a boo ghost shirt with a pumpkin. Now on to the Hudson River. In this direction, that's Bannerman Castle. They are mountain, West Point. And there's lots of fun to be had. There's waterfalls in Beacon. So you want to cross over to the other side of the street and then explore this beautiful city that I was invited to at the New York Times Travel Show at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center. They had a table set up, explore Beacon. And I said to them, what is it like? And they said, it's the Williamsburg of the Hudson Valley. Meaning youthful, cutting edge, new thinkers, and people who love pumpkins. All right, so it is summer style, early autumn style. Festival, huh? He's got one of those shirts. I'll tell you about the shirts in just a second. But first, let's talk about these Poppins pumpkin patch hats. Not only are they stylish, you see the performers are wearing them. Uh, and the guests have been picking them up as well. We've seen quite a few. All right, here it is. The food tasting. Pumpkin. Have you ever seen pumpkin chili? All right, there it is. I've never seen that anywhere. Pumpkin tasting. So, uh, there's the hats. There's the hats. Uh, two stages of performers. And here are the, here's the pumpkin patch. There is a pumpkin patch at the pumpkin festival. Face painting. All right, now who does this great event? And let's talk about the shirt. This is produced by the Beacon Sloop Club. Here are some volunteers behind the Sloop Club booth. Uh, 
Highly recommended shirt. Highly recommended shirt. Highly recommended shirt. Very stylish clothing. You can only get that here today. It'll be the envy of all of Beacon. A fun place, easy to walk up and approach everyone at a concert. One of many, but here's another thing that I've never seen before. The merry-go-round of a swing set. Where you can fall off. All right, the Newburgh. Beacon Bridge stands behind us. And I've asked, oh, look at this cute dog. You can bring your dogs to the park. I asked if the Beacon Newburgh Bridge was a walkable bridge like walkway over the Hudson and Poughkeepsie. Uh, looks like it's not yet set up in that manner. But if you kept heading to the last stop on the Metro North train again, leaves right from 42nd Street in New York City. That would bring you over to that walkway over the Hudson. So it's a fun day, kind of like you're on the farm, but you're in a Hudson Valley city with the best dressed in the Hudson Valley, the best dressed. We got one more. Oh, let's show you the entire space here. The scent of roasted corn is an amazing thing that reminds me of autumn as well as the tail end of summer but there is a ready for it a bouncy pumpkin and then we've got the autumn foliage of the fifth week of i love new york for the annual beacon pumpkin festival all right our bouncy pumpkin and now on to the autumn colors Just beautiful. And ah, there's a face to be seen. So much to do in the Hudson Valley. I actually like to start at the tail end of the Metro North availability, which is going to be Poughkeepsie to the walkway over the Hudson, and then go pumpkin and apple picking at Du Bois Farm. Then come over to Beacon for the Pumpkin Festival, heading closer back to Manhattan. Stop at Tarrytown for the Sleepy Hollow. Washington Irving, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Headless Horseman festivities, and they're pretty amazing. You got the Pumpkin Blaze. And uh, this is the stop in Beacon. Till next time, happy autumn. From ever beautiful, I love New York. Actually, this month it's New York Loves Fall. Until next time, keep exploring.